For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Join Reverend Cynthia Forbes for the message of hope. Jesus says to go into all the world and preach the gospel, the good news. The good news of salvation. Why would I choose to spend eternity in hell with the devil who is wreaking havoc in this world? To those who have given their, their time and their life over to him, I don't want to spend my time, my eternity with him. No way. And you should not want to do the same because it is forever and ever unending. Tune in for words of encouragement and hope in a life of Christ. Message of hope right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network every Wednesday, 5.30 p.m. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is always a pleasure to be with you good folks to bring to you the message of hope. I take this opportunity to welcome one and all. I trust you are doing well wherever you are. In spite of what you may be going through, you are alive. And as the scripture says that everything that has breath, praise the Lord. You can praise God wherever you are on your bed of affliction. Lift your hands and praise God because you are alive. You are in the prison. Lift your hands and praise God because you are alive. Wherever you may be, you can lift your hands and praise God because you are alive. He has spared your life to see another day, another night, another moment. It's another opportunity given to you to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ if you have not as yet done so. I want to encourage you, those of you who have not yet given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, that you do so before it is eternally too late. We want to go straight into the word. Last time we were together, we were looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17 that speaks of, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All the things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. And I went and at length, I also mentioned um, the best place, the best place to be, spiritually speaking. It doesn't matter where you may be. You may be in prison, but you can be in Christ. God can touch you right where you are in the prison, on your bed of affliction. So right now, right now, wherever you may be, the best place, to be is in the Lord Jesus Christ, in the one who gave his life, hallelujah, a ransom for, for many. That's Matthew 20, 28, hallelujah, hallelujah, Mark, in Mark as well. And in Timothy, that, that says, 1 Timothy 2, 6, that says he gave his life a ransom for all because he would have all men to be saved. That is God's desire. That's his will. That is plan. Yes, that's why he, after this, this sin incident in the Garden of Eden, even before that, he knew man would have failed and he provided someone to take care, to take care of that sin problem. Amen. Be in Christ. Hallelujah. Ah, my God, my God. His blood was shed. Hallelujah. His blood was the price paid. Hallelujah for the salvation of the world. Not just any one person or any one race. For the whole world. We're looking for um, their life to be in Christ in the one who is not willing that any man should perish, but that all should come. Hallelujah to repentance. Hallelujah. Do you know of anyone, anybody across the nations of the world who, who so cares about the, of the soul of man? Hallelujah. To go to the extent. Hallelujah. I mean, like, like the Lord Jesus Christ. You know anybody like the Lord Jesus who cares for us Hallelujah. even more than we care for ourselves? Hallelujah. One who is willing to lay down his life or her life. <laughs> Hallelujah. For, for, for another, yes? Who would, who, would, who would allow himself to be, himself to be brutally whipped or to have his beard plucked or to have nails driven in his hands and feet and a crown of thorns pressed into his back brow and to have his side pierced. Do you know anybody in the world who is like that? Only the Lord, he cares for us. He cares, he cares. God cares for us so much that he sent his only begotten son. Hallelujah. 
Jesus did it so all, all man could be saved and come unto the knowledge of the truth. Father God, we give you praise. I give you praise and I give you thanks for another opportunity, oh God, to share your word. Bless it to our hearts. Bless it to our hearts. Strengthen, lift up. My God, encourage, motivate, influence, heal sick bodies and sick minds. Remember families, heal marriages and relationships, oh God. Heal our nation, the nations of the world, oh God. Ministers, only you can individually and collectively remember our brethren across the nations of the world. Your people, even your people, Israel, oh God, have your way. Have your divine way. You cause wars to cease to the ends of the earth, oh God. Have your divine way. Take control. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Before I go any further, let me just remind us of the days we are looking. I'm speaking specifically. Um, the, the message is really for those who have not yet received Jesus Christ as personal Savior and Lord. I want to encourage you. 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 It is time to give your heart and your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Time is closing in. Time is closing in on us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. One song said, time clock is striking the hour. Jesus will soon descend. Hallelujah. I want to remind us of the, this, uh, of, the, of the days in which we live. Hallelujah. According to the Apostle Paul, hallelujah, speaking in 2 Timothy 3, hallelujah, 1 to 5. Uh, he's speaking by, by revelation. Hallelujah, saying this now he's speaking to Timothy and he's speaking to us. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. We are living in perilous times, dangerous times. Perilous times shall come for men, men, people shall be lovers. Men, they don't just mean the male person. People shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. These are the days, these are the days, these are the days that we are living in, the last days. You're not in Christ, you're not in the Lord Jesus Christ, you're not yet born again. It's time to get born again, time to get born again. Hallelujah. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ. Let him get to live in you and you in him. Come on, it's time, it's time. Not only the Apostle Paul is not greater than the Lord Jesus Christ himself, Jesus Christ himself in Matthew 24, because these are the days which we are living in. When they asked him, when the apostles asked him to, to um, tell him the times, the signs of the times and the end of the world, and when those things, the destruction of the temple, and he said, listen, Jesus spoke of wars and rumors of wars. Come on, it's in our face, people. It's in our face. The things are coming to pass right before us. It's time to get in Christ. Hide yourself in Christ. Let him be your rock of ages. Hide in Christ. Put your life in his hands. Jesus spoke of wars and rumors of wars. He says, nation shall be against nation. There'll be famine. There'll be pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. He mentioned also because iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold. Hallelujah. These are the days, hallelujah. The Apostle Paul also mentioned in Timothy, he said, evil men, come on, we have evil men. They were always there, but it's getting worse. Blatant, evil. Evil men and seducers, oh my God. Shall wax worse and worse. These are the days in which we live plain in, plain in our eyesight, right in our face. The scripture is telling us, um, Second Corinthians, verse 17, 5, verse 17. If any man, come on, any man, it's your chance, it's your opportunity, it's your time. Anybody, any man, any woman, any boy, any girl, be in crisis, a new creature. 
Hallelujah. I looked at the first part and I, I mentioned that um, the, the second part becoming new creature. All things are passed away. So cannot happen without the first part. They go together. They work together. If any man be in Christ, so be in Christ. I also mentioned you've got to be born again. It doesn't happen any other way. It doesn't happen any other way, people. It doesn't happen any other way. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Any man being Christ is a makeover, you know. I was thinking, we, we, we do all kinds of makeover. We make up off, we do make up, make over the face. We do breast implants, we do tummy tucks, we do liposuction. Um, we People lift weights and take, do all kinds of exercises. We can do, we can take care of the physical, but the spiritual, the spiritual is, is what God wants to work on. He is the one who can change, hallelujah, this, the nature, the nature to sin and the nature of sin, that sinful nature. Give us the spirit, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature, all things are passed away. And behold, all things have become new. As I have here, he said, if if anyone not in Christ, hallelujah, and Christ not in you, you, you're gambling, you're gambling, you're playing games with your soul. Playing games with your life. You're playing games, you're gambling with your soul. Hallelujah. And this the, the whole idea of spending eternity with the Lord Jesus Christ. The, it, no, you, everybody wants to go to heaven. You ask anybody else, I want to go to heaven, but you cannot get there like that. Heaven not taking in any sin. Sin not going into heaven. And the person who would take away the sin, he's willing and he's waiting to take yours away, to pardon you, to forgive you, to cleanse you. His blood still is still powerful to cleanse and to wash and to sanctify make you holy. Oh God, if you're not in Christ, hallelujah, then you're not born again because there is where it begins. New birth, the new birth, new birth brings about new creature, new creation, a new person. The new birth that has to happen to make you new, make you a new person. If you're not in Christ, you're not born again. You're not experiencing new life in Christ. He said, the thief come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But he says, I come to give life. And to give it more abundantly. Life, real life. Not just existing in this world, but real life. Real life, real life, real, real God life. Real Christian life, real God life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Not just living for this world only. Yes, we are here. We got to work, we got to eat, we got to drink, we got to educate, we got to build, we got to do what we got to do here. But there's a life beyond this life, baby. There's a life beyond this life. Hallelujah. Jesus says, I've, called, I've gone to prepare a place for you. Tell his disciples that and he's telling us. Say, if I go, I will come again. And he's coming again. He said it, the angel said it, it was prophesied, it will happen. It was prophesied for his coming the first time, and it's also and he came. And it's also prophesied for his second coming. And you will let it burn in your spirit, let it burn in your heart, let it let it take your mind, let it take you. Know that he's coming again, and you got to prepare for his coming. One of the ways to be prepared for his coming is to be in him. Be in Christ, get born again, give your life to Jesus Christ. Don't just live for this world and die and go to hell. Don't just live for this world, yeah, oh my God. All the Bible tells us all that is in this world is the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. You're told not to love this world, not to be a hair, yes, but don't let this world declare the peace for you. Choose Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Choose Christ today. Let him be your Lord. Let him be your Savior. Let him be your friend. Let him be your strength. Let him be your peace. Let him be your hope. Hallelujah. 
you're not in Christ. Hallelujah. Your name is not written in the Lamb's book of life. Your name is not written in the Lamb's book of life. It's time to get your name written and you could sing, I have a new name written. There's a new name written down in heaven. And it's man, oh yes, it's man. You will be able to sing that for real. When you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, when you become a, a new creature in him, when you let him live in you and you in him, get to know him, have fellowship, you have fellowship with him. Hallelujah. Yay. The Bible tells us in Revelation, the books will open and another book. Which is the book of life. And whose name, whoever name was not found written in the book of life will be cast into the lake of fire. Have your name written in the book, not only in the church. Hall. It's a better book. The book of books. The book of all books. The Lamb's book of life. Have your name written there. And your name can be written there at this time in your life. Hallelujah. Whatever age you might be. Hallelujah. Whatever age you might be. Whatever your status in society. Don't let pride keep you from having your name written in the Lamb's book of life. Hallelujah. 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 We are not in Christ. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All oh, things are passed away and become all things. And be, behold, all things have become new. Hallelujah. If your name is not, if you are not in Christ, hallelujah, you're not a new creature. Because <laughs> you see, the second part of this, 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 this verse cannot happen without the first part. You must be in Christ. You've got to be born again. Listen, Jesus told Nicodemus, you must. It's not a, not a guest thing. This, this didn't come out for kicks, you know. People didn't take him seriously while he was on earth. Many people didn't take him seriously. Imagine he had to tell some of them, if you don't believe that I am the one, you're going to die in your sins. Do you want to die in your sins and go to hell? Forever and ever? You know, somebody said, it is best to, to live, accept, well, accept Jesus Christ and live for him, that, that, that. And there's no hell or there's no judgment uh, than to not do it. And there is, and there is, according to the word of God. And there is. The word of God is true. God is true. His word is true. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If any man be in Christ, come on, come on, get, get saved. Give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Come acknowledge who you are. We were all born in sin, born that way. It wasn't our fault. Not our fault. It's sad, but it's not our fault. David said, in sin did my mother conceive me. See, I was born that way. But there is hope. There's provision for sin. Jesus Christ, God provided Jesus Christ to take our sin away. He did that at the cross of Calvary. Just think. Just think what he did for the whole world, you know. The whole world. And people rejecting, keep rejecting, just keep rejecting. The only, the only, I said, the only provision for sin. The only hope of eternal life. The only hope of glory. The only hope of heaven. The only hope of eternity with him. Jesus Christ. Don't reject him anymore. You've pushed him away too, too many times. Accept him. He did it for you. He, he gave his life for you. Hallelujah. Because he wants to be in you. Accept him. Hallelujah. 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 I took something from... Um, Talking about the change. You know, there's this, oh, what a change, oh, what a change, oh, what a change in my life. Jesus on the inside, working on the outside, brings about the change. There's another cause that says, I'm a new creation, I'm a brand new man. Jesus makes all things new. He renew your life, he make it over, not outside, but inside. And listen, 
from the walking of the inside will also reflect on the outside. It will also reflect because when they look at, listen to some, some individuals give their testimony and they were drunkards, they were smokers, they were addicts, they were this, they were that. When you look at them, you could not, you can't believe. <laughs> there's such a change, there's such a glow, there's such a, a change, there's something so different, you cannot even see a trace to look at them and say, she used to do that, she used to be that, she, he, yeah, because the change is powerful. It's powerful. You need to experience it. You need to experience the change that God makes in a person's life. It's a tower metamorphosis, a transformation, transformed person. It's really, really, really great. And it doesn't mean that you're not going to have challenges. Because we still live in this fallen way. And the devil has is not yet saved. And he will never be saved. He will still tempt. He will still challenge. He will still go through storms and challenges. And you name it. All kinds of hiccups along the way. Yes. But God. God is with us. God will be with you. To see you through. He has seen me through. He has seen us through. And he allows sometimes, and he would allow things to happen to straighten us, to form us, to fashion us, to, to give us a backbone, spiritual backbone, to be able to withstand, to, to, to develop us, to mature us. <laughs> it took this from Matthew Henry's commentary. How so great is the change, hallelujah, the grace of God makes in the soul that all the things are passed away. In the soul, you know, habits, all habits, all desires, those all kind of bad things that we get involved in before we know Christ, uh, promiscuous lifestyle and adultery and fornication and drunkenness and you name it, lying and stealing and cheating and backbiting and, and you name it, all those things. Yeah, and it's, a, it's progressive. They don't fall off. You see, you, you are saved. You are saved. He will save you. You become a new creature. And this, the work, the work of, of, of the work of sanctification is pro. It's all the time. It's all the time. You have you have somebody to go to when you when you can't go to your friend or whoever. You can go to the Lord Jesus Christ. He will not tell anybody your story. He will deal with it and deal with you and make you and, and comfort and comfort you and encourage you and do whatever he has to do for you. He will not tell anybody. But sometimes when we tell our friends our situation, you know, they take it. It's it, it's all over. It's 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 all over. Yes, it's all over the place. Yes, so so Matthew Henry says, so great is the change, the grace of God, and God is a God of grace. <laughs> makes in the soul that all the things are passed away. All the thoughts, all the principles, and all the practices. I, I was saying, and the places, you know, this, this other course is, the place I used to go, I will go there no more. The things I used to do, I will do them no more. So great is the change, hallelujah, that takes place in the soul by the power of the Holy Spirit working on the inside. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 And all things become new. The grace of God creates a new world in the soul of man. A new world, a new world inside. Yes. And the new man operates from new principles, by new rules, with new ends and a new company. Hallelujah. The, the, the gang you used to lime with, you're not going to lime with the gang, that gang anymore. You're not going to lime, not that you're going you, to you're going to try to reach them then. You'll want them because you'll, you'll experience the joy of salvation that you will want your friends. <laughs> you will want your friends also to enjoy what you are enjoying. Yes? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You would want them to enjoy just what you are enjoying. 
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, beloved, wherever you are, wherever and whoever you are, don't, 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 don't be fooled. Don't let religion keep you bound. Don't let the devil keep you bound. There's freedom in the Lord Jesus Christ. And the makeover you have is a forever makeover. Forever makeover on, on the inside. Make you a new person. Hallelujah. You have a new outlook on life. Hallelujah. New desires. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. No, the Apostle Paul said he wish he could be cut off for his for his and, and he'd be cut off and his um, fellow men be saved. If I could, if I could have done it for anybody out there who have not yet accepted Christ, I would, but I cannot. It takes the power of the Holy Spirit. It takes you bowing before the Holy God. Hallelujah. Before his son. In the presence of the Holy Spirit, in the presence of the three in one. Hallelujah. And confessing your sins. Tell him just who you are. He knows, but you got to tell him. Confess with your mouth. If you confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You have that opportunity wherever you are. Wherever you are. Right now, right now, right now. You have the opportunity to say, God, have mercy on me. Save me. Save me, forgive me, save me, make me a child, cleanse me. I will serve you, give me the strength to serve you. Do that all the days of my life. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. Touch, touch souls, touch souls somewhere today, God. Make many, many, oh God. Come to know Jesus Christ as personal Savior and Lord. Hallelujah. Make many new creatures in you, oh God. New creatures in Christ, having you having a hope, hope of eternal life, hope of a future with the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, have your divine way. Have your divine way. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen, beloved. <laughs> Thank you for viewing. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I pray God would bless you, bless your family. You have a business, God will bless your business, bless your children. Hallelujah. Bless your marriage. Bless you. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. He has been doing good for you. He's doing good. God does good to everybody. He's doing good. He wants to do so much more for you if you give him the opportunity and the privilege as you surrender your life. Tim, continue to view the message of hope every Wednesday afternoon on TIN at 5.30 p.m. God bless you. God bless our country. Hallelujah. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Join Reverend Cynthia Forbes for the message of hope. Jesus says to so go into all the world and preach the gospel, the good news. The good news of salvation. Why would I choose to spend eternity in hell with the devil who is wreaking havoc in this world? To those who have given their, their time and their life over to him. I don't want to spend my time, my eternity with him. No way. And you should not want to do the same. Because it is forever and ever unending. Tune in for words of encouragement and hope in a life of Christ. Message of hope right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network. Every Wednesday, 5.30 p.m.